अनन्नस्थिन्तन्तंगमामजीजनापुर्जुपासते तीसाम नित्ताभिजुक्तानाम जोगच्छीमं बहामहम् लॉ लॉर्ड कृष्णा इस स्पीकिंग अबाउट हिज ओन डिवोटिस सो फार ही हैज स्पोकन अबाउट द एलिवेशनिस्ट मैटेरियल एलिवेशनिस्ट एवं त्रयी धन्व अनुप्रपणान गतागतम काम कामा लभंते रिपीटिंग रिपीटिंग द सेम प्रोसेस समटाइम्स गोइंग अप समटाइम्स कमिंग डाउन दिस इज द मटेरियल प्रोसेस टुडे आई एम द रिचेस्ट मैन एंड टुमारो आई मे बी ए पॉवर्टी सेकंड मैन इन द स्ट्रीट दिस इज गोइंग ऑन एज वी फाइंड इन दिस Art, so also by our pious activities, we can be promoted in better planets than kine punne puno matkalu kang visanti. And when the uh, result and action of pious activities is finished, then again we are driven to this art or down to then this art. So this is going on. <coughs> Lord Chaitanya says that Ayurve Brahmanda Bhamite Kono Bhagavadji. So this way, this uh, cycle of different species of life, they are going on. So traveling in this way, somebody who is very fortunate by association of devotees. He gets the seed of devotional uh, service. Irve Brahmana Bhamite Kono Bhagavanj. To achieve the seed of devotional service is a fortunate uh, achievement. Uh, it is uh, not very easy because it seizes. Oh, the cycle of different transmigration of the soul. Oh. By ignorance, we take this part life as permanent settlement, oh. and uh, we think that we shall live here permanently and make arrangement uh, to live here permanently and make uh, assets. For my children, for my nation, but we do not know that this cycle of transmigration is not fixed. Up. I do not know in what what next life is mine. I do not know when is the who is coming as my son, who is coming, who is going out of the scene as my son. These laws we do not know, but we are achieving the child. Even gata gata ang kamo kama na bunti under the spell of this illusory energy, you are captivated by this temporary sense gratification, and we have forgotten our real life. So those who are in the sense of his real constitution uh, of their real constitutional position as Bhagavad Gita started from the very beginning. Uh, this very conception that I am this body is the beginning from the beginning of the Bhagavad Gita. This is discredited that you are not this body. So you have you have to mold your life uh, in your identification of spiritual existence. Uh, so so far the materialist is concerned; they are chewing the chew. Bhrapuna charvita charvanana. The example which I gave you the last day that uh, a sugar cane, uh, one has extracted all the juice by chewing and it is again thrown into the, uh, on the heart and somebody is chewing. So there is no juice. So we are simply repeating the same thing, same thing. <coughs> we do not question. 
that whether this uh, process of life can at all give us happiness. But we are trying and trying, trying the same thing. Uh, the ultimate purpose of sense gratification and the highest, topmost sense gratification is sex life. So we are trying, chewing, es- chewing, you see, extracting. But that is not the process of happiness. The happiness is different. Sukham Atam Tikam Jat Tat Atindriya Garayam. Real happiness is transcendent. And that transcendental means that I must understand what is my position uh, and what is my process of life. In this way, uh, this Krishna consciousness will teach you. So, those who are Krishna conscious, about them the Lord is saying, ananna-cintanta ma. ananna means means uh, always, twenty-four hours, without any deviation, always thinking of Krishna. Uh, naturally, if you are engaged in the business of Krishna, then you will always think of Krishna. Anyone who is absorbed in certain particular business is always thinking of that thing. So anyone who is engaged in Krishna consciousness, his business is uh, to think of Krishna always. Just like you are reading, hearing of this Bhagavad-gītā, it is spoken by Krishna. And if you think at home that this this sort of speeches was, was given by uh, Lord Krishna, this is the essence. So that is Krishna chinta. Uh, to think of Bhagavad Gita is also Krishna thinking, because Bhagavad Gita is not different from Krishna, absolute. It is from the absolute world. Uh, there is no duality. In the absolute sense, there is no duality. Uh, uh, if I speak something, uh, <coughs> Because I am not speaking in the Absolute, oh, therefore my speaking and uh, myself differ. But here I am speaking the words of Lord Krishna. Therefore the words of Lord Krishna is not different from Krishna. Oh. So if we think of Bhagavad-gītā, the instruction which we receive from Bhagavad-gītā, that is also thinking of Krishna. Oh. So. <coughs> Ananda uh, Mam, always who are thinking about me, Jijana Purjupasate, uh, and why one should think of Krishna uh, unless he has fully surrendered to Krishna? Unless one has taken the business of Krishna, he cannot think of Krishna. He cannot think of Krishna. Therefore, it is said, that ananna cintanta maṁ jījana parjupāsate. Parjupāsate means uh, constantly worshipping in that way. Tesaṁ nitta vijukta, avijukta. He is always engaged in Krishna consciousness. Therefore, yoga uh, chemaṁ vahaṁ maham. Not that only the materialist uh, people will remain happy. Krishna assures that one who is always engaged in Krishna consciousness, he is, uh, uh, happiness will not be devoured. He will be also happy. Because I will make him, I will supply him whatever he requires. Uh, uh, it is very easy to understand. Just like somebody maintains his family, children, uh, he all day works and he has the aim how his family member will be happy. Because he knows that those people, those children, they are fully dependent upon him. Uh, this is same consciousness, because where from this consciousness comes unless it is not in Krishna? Janmādhasya-jataha. In the Vedānta Sutta it is stated, whatever you think, whatever you see, uh, it has its origin. And where is that origin? In Krishna. Unless in Krishna this thinking is not there, that my devotees, Krishna, every one of us uh, is son of Krishna. That's all right. But especially, just like a very big businessman, 
uh, all his employees, they are also taken attention by the person, by the boss. But special attention is taken for his own children. Similarly, Krishna, the Supreme Lord, He is anxious for all living entities, uh, but He is specially anxious for His devotees. Samohaṁ sarva bhūteṣu namē deśyasti nāpriya He will find in the Bhagavad-gītā that the Lord says that I am equal to everyone. Uh, no, nobody is my enemy and nobody is my friend. Uh, I don't show anyone any partiality because nobody is my enemy. How God can be any, anyone's enemy or friend? He is friend of everyone. But jetu bhajante maṁ pritya te One who uh, is uh, devoted specially to the Lord, he takes a special attention. Then do you think that God is in that way partial? No. It is the, just like the sunshine. Sunshine is open for everyone. But one who does not take advantage of the sunshine, he keeps, him, keeps himself within the dark room. Oh, the sun, what can sun do? Similarly, this partiality of God, that he takes special interest of the devotees, because the devotees are able to take the supreme, the complete sunshine of Krishna. Uh, it is not the partiality of the sun or Krishna, but it is the capacity of the person who can take full advantage of the sun uh, One should come out of the darkness and take full advantage of the sun the sun is open for everyone. Similarly, God is open for everyone. One who comes out of this darkness of ignorance, he takes more advantage of Krishna's favor. So therefore, <coughs> it is his capacity. So he gives instruction to everyone. This Bhagavad Gita is meant for everyone. It is not for not only for Arjuna. Arjuna was his uh, uh, eternal devotee, uh, he had all knowledge, but Arjuna placed himself uh, as one of us just to receive this instruction from the Supreme Lord. So this instruction is open to everyone. It is not Krishna's instruction, Bhagavad Gita, is not uh, I mean, it is limited. With a, within a circle, within a particular circle. No. It is for every living entity. Now, if anyone takes advantage of it, just like the sun sign, is for everyone. Uh, the same sun in India and same sun in your America. Uh, we can, you cannot say that this is American sun. Can you say? Or we cannot say, oh, I see sometimes because I am now foreigner, so I see sometimes, so the same moon is here and same sun is here, the same cloud is here. So why I am foreigner? Nobody is foreigner. Everyone is under the sun sign. It is our misunderstanding. It is our misunderstanding. In God's kingdom, nobody is foreigner. Everyone is brother, the ultimate father is the Supreme Lord. Uh, that is Krishna consciousness. Uh, even the animals. Uh, why should we think animals are different from us and we shall kill him? No. You have no right. He is also your brother. So this is universal brotherhood. Uh, when you come to the open sun sign, uh, we can see, oh, everyone is eligible to take advantage of the sun sign. Uh, and so long we are in the darkness, we say, this is my room, this is the, your room. Uh, so for such persons who are completely in Krishna consciousness, for them there is no scarcity. Uh, this is very encouraging. Uh, no Krishna conscious person will think that I will be in scarcity, I will be in want. 
No. Be rest assured. You will never be in want. You will never be in want. If you keep your full faith in Krishna, you will always happily live and you will be given uh, I mean, to the chance of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Here it is guaranteed. So if you take this advantage of Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, in whatever position you may be, you will never be unhappy. You will always be prosperous. So why don't you take this advantage? Uh, be situated. Uh, you are a medical practitioner, that's all right. You are engineer, that's all right. You are a clerk, that's all right. Uh, you are a real estate man, that's all right. Uh, never mind what I do. Everyone has to do something uh, to keep his body and soul together. That is the law of nature. Niyata kurukanmantam karmajyaya karmana. Uh, Arjun was Krishna's friend, but he never said that you stop your working. Rather, he engaged him in his real work. He was a fighter, he was a soldier. He was declined to do the duty of a soldier, but Krishna induced him, no, you must become a soldier. So we may do whatever by God's grace or by nature's freaks we are situated, that doesn't matter. <coughs> But if you take this formula, ananna-ścintayantamā, always think of Krishna, uh, then the result will be that you will never be unhappy. Uh, just try, make an experiment. Uh, we don't say that you give up your uh, engagement and become a mendicant or sannyasi like me and give up your wife and children. No. Krishna does not say that. He may ask them, why you have given your wife and children? I have given up my wife and children for this purpose. If I am engaged in family life, then I cannot do this missionary work. I have taken absolute center uh, to this work uh, without any disturbance. Uh. <coughs> so for a preacher, for a missionary, that is a different thing. But for ordinary man, he does not require to give up his family, his home. You remain. You remain in your occupation, in your occupation. You remain at home. But chant this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Is it any? There is. Is there any difficulty? Huh? Why don't you try? This is our mission. We don't say that you change your uh, life. We simply say that in you know, whatever position you are, you please chant. That's all. Ah. You please chant. You will be happy. You will be prosperous. Krishna will be pleased upon you. And he will be never in scarcity. Ah. Is it not a very nice thing? You ah. will never be unhappy. He will never be in scarcity. That it is guaranteed here. Tisam Vityavi Juttana, Yoga Chivam Bahama. Those who are thus engaged always in thinking of me. Well, you can do your business and think of Krishna and what is their heart. And that thinking may be I mean to divert your attention. But if you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, you will practice. And Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. But you will now be deviated at what you are doing. Oh. But at the same time, you will be able to hear this sound, transcendental sound vibration. Oh. So this is the formula given by the Lord Himself. Please try to follow it. Ananda oh. Siddha. Always, always chant Hare Krishna. There is no rule, no regulation. Never mind what you are, what are doing. Simply chant and hear. Oh. We are and uh, anxious that everyone may take up this simple thing. Uh, and Lord Chaitanya says from um, Padma Puran, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevana, Kalau Nasiva 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 Gatiranatha. 
If you want to live just like animals in play within this fear of eating, sleeping, and mating, and defending, that will not solve your problem of life. Dhammahiti sam adhiko visesha. You are elevated from animal life uh, only for this reason that you can take up this line of action, Hare Krishna. The animal cannot take up. So don't miss this chance. Oh. If I instruct a dog, my dear dog, please chant Hare Krishna, it is not possible. But for a human being, never mind in whichever country he is born and whatever religion he uh, professed, says, uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, these Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, is for everyone. Uh, it is not very difficult. So take up this. Jippanna devata bhaktya jajanti sadhyarnitaha tipi mami bhakantya jajanti avidhipur bhakantya. <coughs> now Krishna says, uh, of course, in India there are uh, different types of worship that I have already explained. Mostly uh, they worship Lord Krishna, mostly. At least uh, eighty percent of the people, they are Vishnu worshippers. And uh, twenty percent of the people, Hindus, they are worship of different gods and impersonalities like that. It's still. So here Krishna says, but because that is recommended in the Vedic literature. Why? The Vedic literature that I explained the other day that worship of different gods, that is also along with Vishnu worship. Aradhana nam sarvisham Vishnu aradhanam param. Vishnu is the central point. Without Vishnu worship, with Krishna worship, no other worship is successful. So here, those who worship other gods, in this conception, that because God is everything, therefore the, any demigod, the, because the demigod people those who are less intelligent, they uh, worship demigod to uh, uh, take immediate effects. Just like a man who is diseased, he is recommended to worship the sun. sun. Now, that is uh, effective. Uh, either you worship, uh, uh, because uh, when sun, wa- sun is worshipped, uh, you have to go to the sun sign and offer something of water and some pradeep, there are some paraphernalia. So uh, if, you, if a diseased man goes to the sun sign, he is actually is cured. Uh, sun sign has got scientifically also, it has got ultraviolet rays. So he, one keeps, if he does not take any medicine, if he simply sits down and sun sound, he will cure. Uh, nature's way. So either you take this way or that way. But one thing is that those who are worshipping sun for cure of disease, uh, that for them, uh, Bhagavad Gita says, Alpavattu phalam tesaṁ tad bhavati alpamirisaṁ. Antavattu phalam tesaṁ. Now suppose you are diseased and you are cured by worshipping sun or becoming in the sun side. Do you think that is the solution of your life? You may be cured. So how long you will remain cured? There we are again disease. Again you are the sun sign. So this is called gatagatam, chewing the chill. The problem is why you shall be diseased at all? That should be the problem of intelligent person. Not that I become diseased and I worship sun or go to the doctor and be cured and again become diseased. No. So ah. come You should cure from all sub-diseases. Ah. The, so long you have this material body, 
you have got life, you have got birth, you have got death, you have got diseases, and you have got <coughs> old age. Uh, besides other miseries. This is a permanent thing. Now, your human form of life is meant for curing for good all these inconveniences. Uh, you should not be satisfied by curing disease and again fall in disease. No, that is not your vision. Therefore, Lord Krishna says, Antavaktu phalam tisha. Those who are worshipping other demigods for some immediate result, uh, their result is antavakt. It is to be ended at a certain point. It has got end. So such things are desired by Alpamedhasam, Alpamedhasam, those who have got less amount of brain substance. Why one should be satisfied by temporary cure? He must see that why I shall die, uh, why I shall be diseased, uh, why I shall go again into the womb of the mother, and why I shall become old. Uh, this is my problem. So if you want to uh, solve all these problems, then you have to become to Krishna counsel. Janma karma me divyam jujanati tattata takta deham punat janma naiti maniti kautya. Anyone who becomes Krishna consciousness, even partially, simply to know Krishna that He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, His activities are transcendental, uh, simply by knowing this, He will solve your all these problems. Simply by knowing this. Uh, takta deham punat janma. These things are stated in Bhagavad Gita. Therefore, <coughs> in every way, if you make analytical study of Bhagavad-gītā, then you have to become Krishna conscious. Uh, Bhagavad-gītā is being preached all over the world in so many languages, but uh, I'm sorry, they are not uh, in the right way. Uh, therefore you are very serious uh, to preach this mission of Bhagavad-gītā all over the world so that people may become happy and people may take advantage of it. That is our mission. And we invite everyone, every gentleman, every sandman to come and cooperate with us. This is a nice mission. We shall be glad to cooperate for the good of the all people of the world. Yadgatyāna nivartyante tadhāma paramam. The Lord says that if you transfer yourself in the kingdom of God, then you will have no more uh, to come in this world of misery, full of misery. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any question?